I often get asked how do you update the firmware on a Micom Soft Framemeister XRGB Mini? Well, to save me answering the questions many times, I will actually uh, show you. Now, of course, I do sell these uh, systems, and if you do buy one from me, they are updated with the latest English version of the firmware. But if you've got an older model and you want to update it, then you want to go to the URL, which you can see right now. And then, what you want to do is click on this one here that says Download. Okay? Or you could go to Firmware. I'll go to Firmware, actually. Now the firmware you want to download is not this one because that's the Japanese version. You scroll down the page, you find it here, Japanese version, that says download. And here we have the English version. So you click on that, download the file. You don't necessarily need this. So just download this top one here. The one that says CPU version, in this case would be 2.0a which is the latest version at the moment. You don't need no bootloaders or anything like that. Once you've got that, you'll end up with a file or with a folder, with a zip folder. And when you unzip it, you'll get um, an XRGB mini file. Inside that file will be these files. Okay. Now what you want to do is copy this XRGB mini file to a micro SD card. And we have one right here. Okay, so I'm going to open it up going to be difficult uh, doing this while uh, filming with the phone, but we'll uh, try our best. Okay, alright, let's put this in the machine. Okay, so as you can see, All these file, all these folders and their contents have been moved over to the SD card and put into a file named XRGB Mini. Okay. Now if we click on that, you'll see that the inside contents is exactly the same as the stuff we downloaded. Okay, now what you want to do is take the micro SD card out of the computer and put it into an XRGB. We have a few over here which need updating. Okay, now that we've got the micro SD card in the back of the Frame Meister with the new firmware on it, we simply take over and then plug it in. And use the power pack for my uh, own personal XLGB mini. It's going to be difficult. There we go. Okay. And instantly you'll see the lights flashing away. This means the firmware is installing. There we go, that's done. That's one frame meister updated to the latest English firmware. See, very simple. Now you can actually uh, unplug the system. Take out the SD card and the system will be completely updated without the need of having this inside it. So I hope this very easy tutorial will answer all your questions on how to update the firmware on a Framemeister. It's actually really simple.